Hey everybody, I'm Mama Bird and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing a Costco haul. I know it's one of your favorites. It's also one of mine. I'm gonna be stocking up for the month, going in there and just kind of getting a few little things that we need and I figured you'd like to come along with me. So let's get out of this van and into the store and let's see what they got. Hi, if you're new here, I'm Carolina and I live in Montana. I do a lot of food bank hauls, pantry cooking, and canning and preserving on my channel. If that's the kind of content you're into, I hope you'd consider subscribing. I'd love to have you come join me in the kitchen. All right, let's get into Costco and let's see what they got. here we go it's going to be a fun trip I have a few things that I'm in need of including dog food and cat food but I have a little bit of extra time just to kind of wind around and look at everything <laughs> look at this giant blow-up slide the kids would freak out for that how long do you think that would last before it gets popped though honestly <laughs> I didn't really check out much of the electronics honestly I don't look at that stuff too much did go to the plant section though got a giant wind spinner that looks cool I checked out some of their plants. I meant to get potting soil while I was over here, but I ended up forgetting and needing to go back for it. <laughs> uh, but they had tons of outdoor stuff, tents. Now, one of my favorite places to stop and look is the books. I get a lot of kid books here, especially since we homeschool. I like grabbing these little workbooks for them. They still aren't quite done with theirs yet, so I might have to come back for these. I do have a bit of a budget. Like, I put $400 aside a month, four to 500, depending on what we can get. And that includes anything extra besides bills. So if I wanna put homeschooling stuff on, I have to take it from that four to $500 budget. So I take that into consideration, dog food, cat food, all that comes out and any food we eat as well. So there's a constant running budget in my head of what I'm spending. And this is all for our family of five. My mother-in-law does live with us, but I don't really count her because she doesn't really use up that much and she contributes in other ways. They have all kinds of reading books, especially once the kids get older and start reading really well. All kinds of series they can get. Those Bob books are really great. We have that, that whole set that we got from here. They usually have some pretty good cookbooks and adult books as well, but I didn't take the time to look at those. The first thing I noticed though is some mayonnaise. That is on my list, so I went and grabbed that while I saw it. And then they had a couple more swim stuff for the kids and swimsuits for adults, but I didn't take the time to look at any of that. I do love Costco's clothes though, and I really feel like they hold up pretty well, so I do enjoy getting clothes from them when I can. I haven't gotten any of their bath towels, and I wish I would've got a price on this Casper bed. I hear that Casper bed beds are really great quality. My friend has one and I've slept on it, and it is, whew, that was a great night's sleep. So we're just kind of looking around, the lots of outdoor stuff going on. They have um, Life Fest. Now this wagon, I bought this one two years ago and it is a game changer, especially if we're like out at the farmer's market and stuff, we'll bring it along. I wish I had it when the kids were younger. The kids have been asking for these types of water balloons. You're just supposed to like hook them up to the faucet and they blow up, but I don't know, that's just plastic everywhere. Oh, and look, they had a giant palette of like decorative rock you could buy if you're like landscaping and redoing gardening or something, you had that. I thought that's pretty cool that you could pick that up at Costco. And then I'm just here looking at all the different ready to eat foods. Six bucks for the big thing hummus seems like a great deal to me. 
Um, they got dips and spreads. These are really great and convenient for if you have parties and you don't want to whip something up. There is a fried pickle with ranch dip. That sounds pretty interesting. And a pineapple habanero. Ooh, I bet that's good. And here's some cilantro lime crema. One of you guys that said you can make that out of avocado and like yogurt. So I'm going to try that. Oh, those deli pickles are so good too. They remind me of like firehouse sub pickles. And seven bucks for a thing of chim kimchi seemed pretty reasonable to me if you like it. And then I was kind of looking at those pierogies. I really like pierogies, but I want to start making my own, so I didn't buy those. And then, you know, you got to be headed to the sample buggy. This is a fettuccine Alfredo that looked pretty good. I'm going to be making some homemade Alfredo here soon with homemade pasta. So I was like, ooh, well, let's give this a try. That's one of the best parts about Costco is the samples. Oh, look, tamales. I've been wanting to try to make tamales. 19 bucks is a lot, but I bet those are pretty good ones. And then my these caught my eye, papas. Papas, have you guys ever made these? They look really interesting. I want to give them a try. That's part of Costco samples. All right, now that snack time's over. Let's get back to shopping. These watermelon were actually looked pretty good. They had a bunch of the little ones and then it was only $7.99 for a big watermelon. And you know, you gotta find one with a big yellow spot with lots of webbing that's round and dark. That is the perfect watermelon. So when you're on the hunt, make sure those are the key points that you use to find a decent watermelon. So lots of different types of fruits here. We don't really, buy dried fruit. Um, I don't usually get much fruit. I just find fruit so expensive. So we pretty much live off of apples, bananas, and oranges that we get from the food bank. Um, so we just, I just kind of skimmed this around, just kind of showing you guys the prices uh, here in Missoula, Montana of what our store is running. They had to stop by the bakery section. I don't usually because I don't want to tempt myself, but their cakes are just so stinking good. And you can see here some of them have orders. Look at these giant red velvet cupcakes. They had tuxedo triple mousse cakes. I mean, they have simple decorating, but it's just fantastic. And their cakes are so moist and the mousse is spectacular. So I kind of drooled a bit over there. And then just look at these towers of muffin, just muffins upon muffins upon muffins. They must sell tons of muffins. Now I do see quite a bit of these ending up at the food bank, but it's only $10 for a dozen of these giant muffins. And it's like a muffin is a three servings. So you can get quite a bit out of those muffins. And I'm sure a lot of offices and stuff buy those to have them for the employees and stuff. And $10 for all these cookies really is not a bad deal. It's the same price for the little ones. And these cream cheese cherry danishes are fantastic. Here are the one of those little things of cookies that sometimes I get at the food bank. They also seem to have a good variety of potatoes available. They have sweet potatoes. They have the small little um, delights they're called. They also usually have Idaho potatoes as well as Yukon gold and red potatoes. My mom always used to get these bags of bell peppers, $8 for six colored bell peppers. That's why whenever I see them at the food bank, I always stock up on them because they really are expensive. And then here's a four berry pie. That's a new pie they have here at Costco. Has anybody tried that yet? That seems pretty good. And then I'm gonna come over here and check out their meat section. This is a good way to save money is to buy in bulk this way, $4.99 a pound for ground beef. And then they have the organic ground beef if you're looking for it. And then they also have bison. That's the only one I've seen here in Montana is that they have bison. I would love to know if they have that anywhere else in the country. And then they have, of course, ribeye steaks, prime roast, prime beef. It's that season where people are making rib roast and stuff for spring. Um, there's a bunch of ribeyes. That's just, price is astronomical, but the rib, the marbling looks really good, that's for sure. You know, what are prices like for steaks in your guys' area? I'm really considering just buying like half of a thing of, like half of a cow and from a local farmer and just kind of like processing my own meats if I'm willing to do that. That's a lot of work. But buy it in bulk like this isn't too bad. $101 for that giant prime rib. And then they have 
briskets here. Here's, a, I mean, 48 bucks for a giant brisket really is not a terrible deal. I know we have a lot of restaurants here in Missoula that shop at Costco and get their meat from there. They get their restaurant supplies from here. So a lot of businesses utilize Costco as well. I mean, that is one chunk of meat. I almost feel like that's the way to go is buy a big piece of meat like that and then process it yourself and save money that way. Lots of ribs out this time of year. People are barbecuing. They do have some lamb racks, which I've gotten one of those from the food bank and it was really good. I like lamb. And there's, I just want to take a moment to appreciate the packaging of Costco meat section. Like, look at these. They all look beautiful. They're uniformed. Like, I think the meat department managers should be very proud of their employees. Lots of boneless ribs going on the grill. My mom always used to get boneless ribs and barbecue them. There's some pork belly, which is pretty much just bacon turkey and then their hot deli here they had some garlic chicken ribs i it did end up grabbing one of those rotisserie chickens you guys were talking to me last time about it that i didn't grab one and you were totally right i needed to grab one so i did and then they have their deli section here pre-seasoned ribs that you could buy to throw on the grill 10 bucks for a caesar salad really is not too terrible um, my one friend gets this salmon all the time and then they had different uh, gyro, gyro, gyro kits. Man, I'm horrible at that. And just look at that salad. Like, wow, it just looks really professional. All this food looks fantastic. I think they did a great job. This is really helps families out if you can pick some of this up and just throw something in for dinner. Oh, this enchilada bake is so good. I really need to figure out how to make it and do it myself because I love that one so much. Their mac and cheese is really good. They have those pinwheels. Like, they have tons of variety of food. Costco really is pretty great. I'm a little smitten with them, you know. I got a little crush on the Costco. And then their chicken salad's really good. I, that does end up at the food bank. Now, meatloaf and mashed potatoes, I've heard wonders about that, but I haven't tried it yet. And they even have little sandwich and uh, salads that you could pick up for lunch. Now that we're out of that tempting section, we are going to grab a case of water. This water is only $5 for the whole entire case, like 24 So I go ahead and always grab those to keep it stocked up. And we've been drinking a lot of water now that it's getting a little hotter. So sometimes the kids will just grab that and chug one of those. And then the wall of toilet paper. Now. Charmin is on sale for $20, which is usually the regular price of the Costco brand. So I just got that one. It's like 60 ci 69 cents more and it is ultra soft. So I grabbed that one and then down the pet aisle, they just redid this Costco. The pet aisle was all the way in the back. I'm going to grab Jack his dog food. We like to get him this adult brand here. It works pretty well. He doesn't have any allergies or anything because corn's not the main ingredient in it. He does have a slight al allergy to corn. So we always get him this one. And then I also picked up cat litter, not cat food. I picked up some cat litter while I was there because we were due for some of that. And then now here in the dairy cooler, I'm looking at the butters. I'm tempted to try this Kerrygold. I hear so much about it. Um, is it worth it guys? Should I splurge next time and get the Kerrygold butter? Let me know. Um, all different types of butters here. I usually get the one that's in a solid block because here it's $11.39 for it one block separated into four sticks or $10.99 for four one pound blocks without it separated. And I don't mind doing the separating or measuring so I always get that one. I usually grab a thing of heavy whipping cream but I skipped it this week and instead got some whipped cream canisters because I'm going to be making strawberry shortcake. So I was like, well, I'll just go ahead and grab some whipped cream and that'll have us stocked up pretty much for the summer, those three cans. And then I grabbed four things of half and half to stay stocked up on that. Those last about two months in the fridge. So I always grab a whole bunch so that way I don't run out because I use that for cooking as well as for my coffee. Now with the cream cheese, I'm very happy with Kirkland's brand of cream cheese. It comes in blocks, like individual eight ounce blocks, like you would buy normal cream cheese. So I'm very happy with that. If we needed sour cream or cottage cheese, I usually get it from here as well. I do not need any eggs, as you know, I have my own chickens, but I just gonna show you the prices of what we're looking at here in the Costco. And then here's all the different milks. Um, I don't usually have to buy milk because I get it from the food bank and we only drink, we drink it sparingly. So that way we don't have to buy it because $6.99 for two half gallons seems like a lot. $3.50 a gallon. Does that seem a lot? 
to anybody else maybe it's just me and then we're going down the refrigerator section not much we need in here I'm just kind of looking see if anything cut, catches my eye see if um, there's any sales on stuff that's usually when I like to stock up on an item if there's a sale on it so we'll see I've been eyeing this big bag of tater tots for a while my one friend got it and I was like you know what I'm gonna go ahead and get them because I saw some tater tot casseroles that looked pretty good I wanted to try and it's a good thing to throw in the air fryer for the kids to go with like corn dogs chicken nuggets grilled cheese sometimes husband even likes tater tots so I decided to go ahead and get a big bag for ten dollars that seems pretty pretty reasonable I usually buy the small bags at Winco for like $2.50 a bag so I think they're pretty comparable in price to get the big bag these cordon blues looked good now that's a traditional cordon blue and that's pretty good stuff I also get the dino chicken nuggets here $15 for that big old bag of them um, but I didn't get any this time I decided to skip that now their wings were on sale one thing about me guys I love chicken wings it's my absolute favorite and these wings are very good I can get four servings for just me out of this one bag so $15 roughly for four servings of wings is a great deal and I decided to grab one while I was in there for me as my little splurge so I can have some wings and tater tots you know and have a fat fatty moment don't mind me now here's our bacon that we get at the food bank Daily's bacon this is the company that is always donating the black pepper bacon ends so it's kind of funny to see it there and just kind of see what the price is and see how much I get at the food bank versus how much I would have to pay if I bought it at Costco now they had the buffalo so I got one buffalo and one chipotle so that's thirty dollars of my budget but that's gonna last a while and give me eight servings of wings for myself husband doesn't like boned wings so that's pretty much just for me and I thought that was a good deal and a good splurge for myself and then they had this frozen pasta it was $6.69 for this big old bag I'll probably cook that whole bag at one time to feed our family of six and then do like a salad or something with it but to me that is a good deal to have for like seven dollars have a nice good pasta dinner that I didn't have to make already pre-frozen I can have it for an emergency night where I don't feel like cooking Oh, look at the pretty lights great camera angle there <laughs> oh another sample here egg and cheese croissant this was really good it has I love croissant so that flaky croissant really hit the spot you know now I'm gonna be looking in the frozen section I don't really need anything I'm just kind of looking around to see if there's anything that sticks out at me I did notice those melon popsicles I'm probably gonna have to be making the kids popsicles soon do you guys make your own popsicles pretty much thinking about just taking making a smoothie and then pouring it into a mold and that could be a popsicle you know it's a lot better than buying them and we want the kids to have some kind of treat so here's all the frozen veggies and fruits that they carry um, didn't need that coffee $14 three pounds of coffee almost drop it good thing I have good mom like reflexes yeah I always look at that cauliflower rice I think about that for like my mom and using that as a substitute but it's just something oh the green peas are really good and then we're just looking lots of ice cream sometimes I'll get that on the bottom it's like a drumstick variety pack for $11 I think that's pretty good oh, 20 bucks for some Oreo sandwiches uh, no I mean the ice cream is not too terrible there if you get it Ooh, cheesecake factory that's not bad I used to love working at the Cheesecake Factory. Every Sunday I would order a cheesecake. That would be my cheesecake day. So I got to try every single one. Here's a bunch of like school sandwiches or school chips packets and stuff like that. Cookie packs. Uh, here's a bunch of those cupcakes. I was looking, those cupcakes are my favorite. Nine bucks doesn't seem too bad for 36 of them, but you know, we don't need it. We homeschool, so I don't have to worry about the lunch stuff, which is really nice. That really helps save a lot of money not having to buy lunch stuff. Now I noticed these tortillas were on sale, five bucks, and I've missed having tortillas. I used to get them from Wick when my boys were under five, but as soon as they turned five, they aged out. So I haven't had Wick in over a year, and I really miss the tortillas, and I don't buy them too often. So I saw those, and those were a good deal. So I decided to grab a pack. And then these ones here, these were burrito size. So if you wanna make like really good, stuffed wet burritos or chimichangas or something those would be good but I saw these car balance and I really like these and for that price I think that's a really good deal than buying them individually at the store so I decided to go ahead and get that for myself to make myself some ham and cheese wraps or whatever 
Now it's super easy to make your own pancake and waffle mix. I've done tons of that, so you don't have to buy store-bought like that. Um, this syrup caught my eye, mixed berry, and it just looked like a beautiful color. Color. I would really want to make some of my own syrups this summer, so I'm looking forward to that. Here's all the different honeys that they offer here at Costco. That huckleberry jam's really good. It's almost out, too. It's a pretty small container, too, for Costco size. They offer all kinds of different types of peanut butters. It's always good to have peanut butter on hand. Um, I usually get the one pound ones from the food bank, though, so I don't usually have to buy or stock up on peanut butter. Same thing with the bread. Always tons of bread at the food bank, so I usually have get the joy of skipping right on past that. Man, Betty Jan loves those cup of noodles. Does anybody else's kids love those? I only put in half the seasoning package. She doesn't seem to miss it. I was looking at those Funyuns, $8.59 though. Ugh, I just couldn't do it. But I love Funyuns and we haven't had chips in a while because if we get chips, we eat chips, right? So I try not to buy chips, but I wanted to get something and I usually get those Himalayan salt, pink salt ones, but these barbecue one looked good but 28 ounces and it was more expensive than the 32 ounce one. So I decided to go with the 32 ounce because if I'm gonna splurge on chips, I might as well get the most I can get, right? <laughs> the kids are starting to really eat a lot now. So I'm actually husband ended up getting most of those. And then cereals, I don't really buy too much cereal. My mother-in-law does like to contribute to cereal. It's easy for her to whip up the kids a bowl of cereal. So she usually, buy cereal if we need it so I don't usually get those and here's kid chips that they put in lunch look at 20 bucks I mean 54 I know that's a lot but that's I'm really glad I don't have to worry about lunch stuff I guess this would be a good deal though to get it bulk here if you have a lot of kids or if you want to save some money get pretty much anything buying bulk really saves money and the membership here is only sixty dollars a year which is five dollars a month so that's really not bad considering how much of a mo how much savings you get by buying in bulk and then i saw the brown sugar here and i wanted to come get a look at it because i just got two of these bags at the food bank so that's 23 dollars. so 48 dollars worth of sugar i got for free i mean it was hard as a rock but it's hard to complain Let's put a little butter in there and that'll soften it up so here's just a couple of our different spices they have here seasonings i do want to get some more whole peppercorns i usually get those from winco though in the bulk, bulk section so i didn't worry about any of that um, there's some lemon juice for six dollars for two big old ones that's a pretty good deal i will get the ranch dressing here i do want to start making my own though and that's something that i would like to do is make my own ranch dressing packet there's the vanilla i get twelve dollars i think that's a pretty good deal and then on the other sides, all of the oils and olive oils and stuff I get. That's that's the oil I used when I made my garlic infused oil. I used that extra virgin olive oil right there. And I didn't need anything down the aisles or down getting shampoo or anything. So I just skipped all of those. Came over here to kind of check out granola bars and nuts and stuff. But that was pretty much it. And luckily for me, it was not very busy, so the line wasn't very long. I was able to check out pretty quickly. some AC it's hot today well I did have to go back for soil I missed that that was on my list especially since I just got those plants starts at the food bank I'm gonna be needing some soil for that so that's another thing it helps save money that the food bank is are offering veggie starts and then I can save that I can use that money to get soil for said veggie starts you know what I'm saying I did stop and give me a strawberry ice cream couldn't resist it's hot today this is only three dollars mm. they got a good soft serve ice cream make you feel like a kid again mm-hmm mm -hmm. and I got a hot dog from the deli because I haven't eaten yet it looks good relish 
mustard and ketchup. Well, I did not get it all set up for you guys to show you when I got home, but I pretty much gave you the rundown of what I got. I ended up shredding that rotisserie chicken, and then with the bones and all the extra skin, I put that in the crock pot, and I'm going to be throwing in a bunch of my scraps that I have for my freezer, and then just putting in some peppercorns, some bay leaves. I really like the flavor that peppercorns and bay leaves add to the broth. And then I'm just going to top it off with water. I'm going to go all the way up to the top because I want a lot of broth. And whenever I cook it in the crock pot, I usually cook it on low for like a day and a half. So it's really important to make sure that you have lots of water in there because it's going to use it to evaporate. And then I had some freeze dry celery that I don't really want to eat because I don't like celery. But it does really well in broths. So I went ahead and threw that into my broth. And then some freeze dried parsley for some extra freshness as well as a splash of apple cider vinegar. The apple cider vinegar is really what helps break down the bones and you get all those nutrients. I just wanna show you one of the things that I like to make the kids the most, and that's a barbecued chicken quesadilla. And that's just any kind of barbecue sauce that you would like. You cook the tortillas, you put those down, then you add some cheese to it, then you add the chicken, then you add little pieces of barbecue sauce, little dollops I like to say. I do like to toast two tortillas so that way the one that I'm putting on top is also toasted and warm and then whatever side needs to be toasted the most I'll put that up because then you are going to be flipping this and it's going to get cooked on the other side so you don't want them too toasted but you want it warm enough to be able to start melting that cheese and putting some kind of oil down like I did that bacon grease look how crispy that quesadilla is that's the trick is some grease in the pan and then I'm going to use a pizza cutter to slice this. I feel like that's the easiest way. And I usually slice it into six slices. Each kid gets two. And then I'm going to make a second quesadilla for seconds if they're hungry. Just open up. Look at that cheesiness. And adding that barbecue sauce is just a whole nother dimension, guys. Serve this up with some oranges. Slice them up. And the kids were happy. This is a quick, easy lunch, and one way that I really like to stretch that rotisserie chicken so that it can make multiple meals. Well, thanks for coming to Costco with me and seeing what I got and what the prices are like here in Missoula. That rotisserie chicken is one of the best deals you can get, and I always love shredding it, making multiple meals, as well as making that delicious bone broth out of it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time on Mama Birds.